everybody. How's it going? Uh, it's a new week. I'm back. Hopefully you're enjoying the start to summer, and hopefully you guys are using the tips that I gave you last week uh, on the top five things to help you get leaner now, because uh, it's already it's already June, and you don't have much time left to get in shape. So uh, use those tips, implement them, and um, today we're actually going to be talking about something that you can use in conjunction with those tips, uh, especially if you're on vacation. So today we're going to talk about on-the-go training, training when you can't get to a gym, uh, training when you're traveling for work or you're away from home or whatever the case may be, um, you know, it's for, for you guys. So uh, just a little backstory. When I was uh, big into bodybuilding a few years ago, I still am, but when I was, you know, my mindset was just bodybuilding, uh, I would go away on trips on vacation and, and you know, Way for work and things like that, and I would be frustrated when I couldn't get to a gym that didn't have barbells and dumbbells because that's the the only way I thought you could train when you were a bodybuilder. Uh, now my mind is a little bit different because turns out looking back when that happened, I didn't actually work out that week because I was so frustrated I couldn't find a gym that had what I wanted. So there are certain cases where you have to adapt and you have to use what you have around you and just you know just suck it up and train. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So um, the first thing, number one on the list, is a T-Rex trainer. Now you guys have probably seen me use this in some videos. Uh, I posted one a few months back of me training um, in my apartment with it. Uh, but if you don't know what I'm talking about, and you're unfamiliar, and you've never seen one of these, it's basically a set of straps that you hang from a barbell, uh, I'm sorry, a pull-up bar, not a barbell, a pull-up bar, or your door frame. So you have, you have a pull-up bar hanging, or even at the gym, you have the strap around a few times, buckle it up. On the bottom, it has two straps, adjustable straps with buckles, and handles. Now, this is a great piece of equipment because you can scrunch it up, throw it in a backpack, and it actually comes in a little case. Um, and here's the door hanger. It comes with a little door hanger, too. You just slide this in the door, shut the door, and your straps fit through there. But it's great for functional exercise. It's great for doing push-up variations, sit-up variations, uh, different things for your legs, different types of explosive movements that a lot of athletes use. Um, so it's not typically bodybuilding training, but it will help you in your muscle gains and in your fat loss because number one, a workout like that will help increase metabolism. And number two, it'll help your muscle gains because you know, you're hitting your muscles from a different angle that you're not really used to, especially if you're bodybuilding. Um, I used to scoff at this stuff and think it's junk, uh, but do a few workouts with these and you will see that it will kick your ass. So that's number one. Uh, but it's great because you take it anyway, you leave it in your trunk of your car or throw it in a carry-on and take it with you wherever you go. The second thing is a gym boss. You guys probably don't know what this is, um, but it costs about 20 bucks and it's just a gym timer. Now this is geared toward people who are really more towards the the fat incinerating aspect of training, uh, especially in the summertime, because it basically sets up intervals for you. So uh, one of the the one of the types of workouts that I do that I do in the program that I created, uh, which you guys will see very soon, is called incineration training, and it's basically intervals. It's steps of 20 intervals with 10, uh, 20 second intervals with 10 second rest, periods. And this, you can set up this just little $20 timer to do just that, to set up 20 seconds of training and then a 10 second rest. And you do that for each exercise for about 45 or 50 minutes, and you're beat, because there's no rest periods in between. Your metabolism skyrockets for that workout. Um, and it keeps you accountable. A lot of times you see these workouts, you go to the gym and you work out, and you're supposed to do these set time frames, but you get caught up talking to somebody that you know, or you're changing songs on your iPod, or and 30 seconds turns into two minutes, or two minutes turns into five minutes, and it's hurting you. So keep your iPod in, get one of these. You can definitely hear it buzz and feel it vibrate and hear it beep when, when it's time to hit the hit the exercising again. So this keeps you accountable. Get one of these. It's only $20. The third thing is resistance band. You can get these pretty much anywhere. They're dirt cheap. This one probably cost me about eight bucks or so. Um, 
doesn't have to be any specific resistance, but I mean, you can get them heavier if you want them heavier. This is about medium resistance. Uh, but this, you can do a lot of your body building exercises with. Uh, whether it's your curls or your push downs, a lot of them come with door attachments. This one doesn't have one, but uh, you get the idea. So this is the third thing that you can use. Um, shoulder presses, chest presses, especially if you have the door attachment, you can do chest presses. Um, rows, different things like that. Um, but this makes up for, you know, it makes up for weights. You can use the, the movements that you would normally use with a barbell or a dumbbell uh, or a machine with, with a resistance band. Not so much a T-Rex, but with this resistance band you can. Um, so get one of these, they're pretty cheap. The fourth thing, I'm going to tell you what it is and you're going to think I'm crazy. <laughs> uh, but this idea hit me not too long ago. I was playing cards when I was away on a recent trip. And, um, you know, you take a look at your deck of cards, deck of regular playing cards, and the cards you play poker with. Um, and each one of them has a suit and a number, or, or face card, right? Well, I devised an easy way to get a quick workout in using the deck of cards. And you're gonna, you're gonna love, you're gonna think this is amazing. <laughs> um, so, basically you shuffle your cards, okay? Shuffle them up pretty good. You can keep the jokers in too if you want. Um, shuffle your cards, and then what you do is you go through all 52 cards. And each suit is a different exercise. So we have hearts, we have diamonds, we have clubs, and we have spades. Now you see why I'm not an artist. Um, so we have those four suits. So let's say for diamonds, we do push-ups, right? Diamonds, we do push-ups. Hearts, we do burpees. If you don't know what burpees are, Google it, and then you'll definitely hate me. Uh, third exercise, we'll say for crunches. Now, you can make these four exercises whatever you want, um, but these are four that will probably work the majority of you know, your core and your upper body and lower body. So, um, fourth exercise will be Turkish get-ups. Again, if you don't know what those are, Google get-ups. It's got a kind of a weird name, but you'll see why they're called that in a second. So, um, basically with the Turkish get-up, you're laying flat on the floor, all the way to overhead, and you stand up. So, that's what that is. But you Google it, you get a better idea. Same thing with burpees. Google those. Uh, but anyway, you shuffle your cards, shuffle them really good, and what you do is you keep the, the deck face down, flip over a card. Now face cards are values of 10. Uh, face cards are values of 10, aces are values of 15, jokers are, value, um, jokers are value of 20. So face cards are 10, aces are 15, jokers are 20. All the other numbers are for face value. So, so we got a king. King of Spades. Then we do we do uh, 15 Turkish get-ups. 15. Okay. And after you've done those, go over another card. Nine Turkish get-ups. Seven of Hearts. And after you do those nine, at seven of Hearts, you do seven burpees. Go over the next set of cards. Jacks. Ten crunches. So basically, you go through the whole deck. It'll probably take you about 40 40 to, to an hour, 40 minutes to an hour depending on how fast you do it. These are relatively really hard exercises to do uh, for a lot of volume, but you can build up to them. You can start off with half the deck. You don't have to do the full deck. Uh, but you get the idea. You can pick and choose your exercises, choose your weak points, stuff that you don't like doing or stuff that you are problem areas for you, um, and go from there. Now, when I say problem areas, everybody's stomach is their problem area. Don't pick four different types of crunch exercises. It would be a waste. Um, I would say maximum make one crunches and then fill the other three. But this deck of cards will cost you about two dollars. You can get a kick-ass workout in in about 45 minutes to an hour, and I'm sure you will be dead after this. I've, you know, experimented with it a few times myself, and it hurts. Uh, 
But again, it expects some ways you can work out so that when you go away, there's no excuse on why you're not taking the next step into hitting your goals. So um, I'd love to hear back from you guys. As always, leave your questions in the comments or email me. Uh, and uh, if you don't have my email, it's in the About section on this page. Um, yeah, questions and comments, and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in the gym. Take care.